So I just want to go over composition for a while and just talk about some ideas that you can use and incorporate in your own work. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to start using some leading lines within our composition. And I want to actually paint in some physical elements here that are going to sort of direct our eye around and through the painting, hopefully up towards, you know, like a, a focal point. Something that I'm doing in here um, purposely is using kind of zigzaggy type shapes as well. So you can see that there. And what they do is they help with the, the depth and the perspective as well. And the other thing that I'm thinking about is these, these lines here are going from thick to thin as they get further away in the distance, you know, and controlling that because that's also going to help with our just general perspective of the scene. This spaceship here overlaps that shape and because the value, there's a bit of a change in value, that's giving us even more depth and perspective as well. Right? So just understanding all those things. If I put it here, it still kind of fits because it's in the right value range, but we get less of that feeling of, of depth. Now, the reason why that happens, we go back to kind of like our really basic stuff, overlapping shapes. You know, I want this, I want this thing to feel like huge, you know? So how do we make something feel big? Put something small next to it. So for example, if you want something to look big, I'll show you a really simple way to look at this. Okay? So we've got a rectangle. Do we know what size that rectangle is? Not really. Does that rectangle all of a sudden look big? Because now you have something to relate it to, right? It's a dot. <laughs> it's a big rectangle line, you know, and, and a dot. But all of a sudden we go, that's a big rectangle. That's a big building. There's a guy standing next to that. Just because of the way our brain kind of uh, relates shapes to one another. So thinking about it like that simply, that's how you can, like within your paintings, that is, that's the control you can have over what the view is seeing. Right? So you make it this size and it has a particular feeling to it. You make it this size next to it and you get another feeling. And so I think mostly this part now is just kind of texturing, uh, pushing and pulling those, those forms there. And I think we can get something pretty interesting going on. So we kind of have a general sort of direction and shape with this. So let's get this photo kind of working for us a bit better. Just going to put this on lighten. So a little kind of finishing thing is uh, fill the layer to black. Turn on uh, color dodge, kind of pick our sort of light color. And then you can kind of just brush in light. 